Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows you how you can add a group of pictures to an existing EPUB. I am using Caliber and its editor and its viewer. Right now I've got the main Caliber screen open and if you go over here and click on the existing EPUB you can get it on screen and read the EPUB. To go from page to page to page you hit the right arrow and I'm going to be adding some pictures into this now as you see some of the some of the pictures have got uh, frames around them and some of them have got captions this particular one right here does not have a frame around it but rather it is a table it has a top and bottom left and right caption and then a sort of a title at the top I will be showing that in a in another video other pictures will have no captions at all but frames. Notice also that I have some of them half screen, some a quarter screen, and so on. I'm now going to go back to the main Caliber program and if you right click and hit edit you open up the editor and I've got that open already and here we are on the cover page. Notice over here in the left panel we've got some things that you can collapse this is the text in the book. These are the HTML chunks, not necessarily corresponding with chapters. They can be chapters, but you might decide to break the chapters up into small, more smaller manageable chunks. These are the styles. I've got a uh, style sheet showing, and uh, this shows all of the intelligence of what to do. And it's only about 100 lines long and you don't have to get that complicated. And then down here lastly I've got images and the images I went ahead and numbered them ahead of time and I went one through whatever. Now at the end here these are the three that I'm going to be adding into the book and I'm just going to delete them right now. I'll show you how easy that is. I'm deleting those three but I now wish to add those three pictures. Well I've got the cover. This is the title page and I think I'm going to add a picture right here. The way you do this is up here in the top there's new file and import file. If you pick new file you can put in either images, fonts, and so forth, but you can only put in one at a time. For example, on this one here, if you know the name and where it is, you type it in. If you do not, it'll give you a list to choose from, but that limits you to a single instance. What I want to do is add in a whole bunch of pictures, in this case three, so I go to the second one and it says import and I've got these three pictures on my desktop. Now watch what happens when I hit just one of them. It goes down there. But when I hit Control A, all of them go down there. And now I hit Open and they will be added in. And there they are, A, B, C. Now if you tap on them, you can see them, what they look like. and each time they show up here. But I can close them. By the way, while we're at it, I'm going to go to my desktop and show you where I got them from. I made a folder and there they are. That's all there is to that. I just needed some source. And I want to now look in the book where I want to add a picture and I decided to put one in right here. Well I'm going to put it in as an image so there is an arrow and then IMG and so on. You can do this very rapidly by using this sort of a macro called a snippet and they're in preferences, edit, manage snippet and there they are and here's the one that I've got called image. Now before we do that I might want to show you what the heck's cooking with these things. I made one here that is trivial called H-A-Y and oops I lost it sorry H-A-Y 
edit snippet and I will zoom in on this and you can see what's cooking. H-A-Y, if I type that in and follow it by shift Control j that activates the snippet. That's the trigger. And it will type in hi, comma, and then dollar sign one, you type in whatever you want to, comma, how are you? Oh, hi, dollar sign two, it jumps right to there. You type in the name, and then it puts in comma, I'm fine, have you seen so-and-so today, question mark. And you know what? While I'm at it, I might as well put in dollar sign four, and that'll take me to the end. So let's save this, and I'm just going to put in a quick snippet just to demonstrate. This is trivial, I understand. So H-A-Y, oops, H-A-Y, Control Shift J, hi, I'm going to zoom in on it, Jack, how are you, Control Shift J, John, Control Shift J, Sally, Control Shift J it goes to the end. And that's that's how you do it. And it appears up here. But this of course is not exactly what I want to do. I want to put in an image. Now you remember the rigmarole about finding where the snippets are. You're going to be using those things a lot and look what all you have to do to get to them like that. But you don't. You can go to keyboard shortcuts and in miscellaneous you can open that up and you can create a snippet uh, shortcut key and I'm just going to make one right here and the shortcut is going to be uh, something unused alt semicolon let's do that done and OK Let's try Alt semicolon now and see if that pops it up. Shazam! There they are. And I want the image one. Let's look at it briefly before I do one. And I'm going to again zoom in on it. And it goes here to the first place, dollar sign one. And then it says image source. Now this looks way complicated, but I'm going to break it down for you. It's basically just dollar sign two it goes there but there's a trick it retrieves the file names for you as you type in the first letter the second letter the third letter or number and in my case it's going to be a b c and it'll just find the darn thing for you so after the dollar sign there's that curly bracket and then it ends up with a curly bracket and then here's your two and then colon and then file name and it's just going to get the file name of the darn thing and then over here, I am going to say how big I want to have the graphic. That's in my CSS. I'll explain that. Don't get lost. And then over here, I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in uh, some kind of, uh, uh, at the end of it, I can, I can put in a caption. So let's close this. Let's close this. And right here, I'm going to type in, I M G control shift J and what is my file name well I'm gonna go right here and I'm going to put in C dot C dot well I don't want pictures C dot what do I want it was it a PNG no yeah, it was a PNG. Did it pop up? Yes, it did. Now, how big do I want to make it? Uh, let's make it 25, quarter of a screen. Let's put it to the right. There. I did it. Uh, for some reason, it didn't pick up all of the... All of the 
things where you go from here to there and here to there. Let's go to the next screen. And I'm going to put in another picture. This one's going to be easier. I want to draw your attention to this. This is not a frame. This is a table. And I'll show that in the next, the next uh, session. Uh, there's a row on the top. That's a header. And then there's a top, bottom, left, right. You can't normally do that with regular uh, frames. You have to use a table. This, by the way, is Russell Means. This is a libertarian science fiction story about American Indians available at Barnes and Noble. I'm going to get rid of that because it doesn't belong here and I'm just goofing around. Uh, the way you get rid of it is you can go down like this and then hit Control X and it vanishes. If you want to save it, you can just put it in your word processor. This is LibreOffice Writer and you can pick that up later if you want to. I'm going to put in my second image here. Let's go IMG file name I'm putting in B and how big do I want it? 25 and that's how big it's going to be but it doesn't have a frame. What do you say we put a frame on it? I have another snippet that I just named F for frame. Hey, while we're at it, let's just go ahead and use the snippet called X. And X will allow me to put in captions all over the place as well as a frame. And it says no break. The pictures, as you under as you remember, do not break. But if you have got a frame around it, they break. So let's go frame 50. And let's go to the picture. Oh, let's put in the uh, caption up here. I'll say uh, top. And then Control Alt J. And then the file name. Let's go, what was it, A? jiggled and now I've got to say how big it is G25 and then the bottom no let's go 100% and then the bottom G G100 And you see, I've got a caption on the top and on the bottom right now. If I want to, I can put, I can put uh, this picture 50% of its size. And it's going to take up half the frame. But now the captions don't make sense. I've got, I'll, I'll remove top and break. And now I've got a side caption. And for that matter, I could uh, make this 25. And it's a much smaller picture. And then if I make it R, it goes to the other side. You can do anything you want to. Let's go right here and put in our next picture. Now you tell me, what should we do? image alone, caption, caption and image, uh, caption at the top. You can do anything you want. The, I, I really do like putting the frames around them. And I'm going to make this one 50. And I'm going to put top. I'm going to put in file name B. I'm going to put in 25R
and I'll put in bottom now you want to save it and it takes a long time to save the reason it takes a long time to save is, is I've got wow 130 something pictures video audio animated GIFs uh, I have really overloaded the EPUB it has a very large size as soon as it finishes saving I'm going to go over to the main program and I will open up the EPUB but first I have to close this one let's go to the very top first of all this is the old one and remember I put in a picture here I put I removed that picture and put in something else and then further on down so let's close the reader and open up the new EPUB and if all went well those three pictures will be in the EPUB it opens up half screen I'll open up full screen let me move it over here go to the top this is the cover title page with another picture to the right just like we did this is the first chapter remember that one remember that one I left top and bottom up there and that's why there is space on the top like this uh, let's take a look just briefly over here at the uh, style sheets the uh, style sheets are right here and this has every bit of the intelligence and uh, they're in alphabetical order more or less I guess I I goof around with them so frequently h1 is header and it and I'm telling that anytime I got a, a header it's blue that's h1 and then here are my different size G for graphics 100 percent 75 50 50 to the right 50 to the center 25 10 that's for a long skinny one and then I've got all the details that are common to all of the pictures right here and then the individual ones are listed below the common and oh dear me I've got to go down to look at the rest of them the, let's see what have I got a hundred lines I, I don't even have a hundred lines and I've got so much junk in here it's unbelievable and uh, anyway that is everything that I want to do there are other things you can do as I say you can put in tables you can put in lists there are many many things you can do with EPUBs this is about as gaudy as I care to get my name is pop I will be making additional YouTube videos showing how you can put in tables, lists, videos, audios, animated GIFs, and so forth. And I thank you very much.